Part 6, running up the Ubuntu Linux instance. In much the same way as we ran up the Windows instance, we need four pieces of information. We need the AMI, the machine details, the instance type, again T2 Micro, the security group that we created earlier, and our private key file again. So within the EC2 dashboard, launch instance again. This time we'll want to select Ubuntu server, 14.04, clicking free tier only again. Making sure we've got the unique AMI that identifies this image. Select the image. Select the instance type, again making sure we stick to the free tier. Using a T2 micro instance type. Accept all the instance configuration defaults. Again, you'll notice that we're creating this instance within our own virtual private cloud again, and that the shutdown behavior is set to stop, not terminate. And on the next step, we'll add the storage. We'll stick to the default again, which is eight gig storage device, EBS storage. We can create a tag on here. I define this as our, our Unix client. And then configure our security groups. This time, we're selecting from the existing security groups again. We want to select the default security group that allows it to connect to anything within our virtual private cloud. And select the security group which gives us HTTP and SSH protocol access from clients within our, our cloud. Then we're on to reviewing and launching the instance. And once we've reviewed it and start to launch it, we have to select our key pair again. We're using the same key pair We'll need that same private .pem file, but this time we'll be using it when we come to connect to this machine using SSH and PuTTY. So click Acknowledge, launch the instance. Once the instance has been launched, we'll see it within our EC2 dashboard. And once it's run up, we'll see the instance state change from pending to running. So next, in part seven, we'll look at connecting to the Windows master machine that we've created an instance for and RDPing onto that Windows machine.